change lives, change organizations, change organizations, change the world. Where the GSB is going to have the biggest impact is changing the organizations I'm going to work with. I used to think a lot of leadership as having charisma and strong will, and that's helpful, but far, far from sufficient. It's really about empathy and, and understanding uh, the people you're trying to lead. Organizations need individuals who take initiative, who are creative, who can problem solve. Change organizations. Cambiar organizaciones. Change organizations. Change organizations. Change organizations. The world in which our students are going to manage is changing. Uh, at an increasingly rapid rate. We equip our students with the ability to understand the global context of management. We require that every single student go to a country where they did not grow up and where they have not had significant work experience. It helps you get out of the classroom and into the real world, into a room with somebody who's an expert in a field, and actually being able to understand how do you build an oil well in Brazil? How do you build a new company in Brazil? That's experience that you can't get in the classroom. You don't only get what you should do, but also you get ideas on how to do it, and you remember the kind of real-life impact that you can have on people and organizations. No matter how much we talk about a country, it's a completely different thing to actually come to a country. I was a leader on a global study trip to Kenya and Rwanda. We met with President Kagame, the president of Rwanda, um, Daniel Arap Moy, the former president of Kenya. We met the head of marketing of Red Bull. A meeting with uh, Bay and Capital. We were meeting with Shanda. The best gaming company uh, in China. CEOs of Equity Bank Kenya Airways. Today we are meeting with the Minister of Industry and Commerce. And uh, a really important person in uh, the whole government structure. He is also Stanford GSB alum. Why I think the GSB is an amazing environment, it is so people-centric in its approach. It was a wonderful experience of two years, number one in terms of experiences that I've had in life. Some of the lessons learned from GSB alums were amazing and the key takeaways that they took from Stanford and how they're able to implement them. I mean, change organizations, the way I'm doing it is to, you know, be a female at this role, at this level, to have the confidence to speak my voice. Tonight we will visit the, a lot of GS alumni in Shanghai from all industries. The senior alumni are very warm-hearted to give us great career advice. We require that on every study trip, at least one faculty member uh, joins the students. When the faculty come on these trips, we develop that first-hand knowledge about these international economies see the way local business leaders are responding to the particular environment that they find themselves in. We can bring that experience directly into the classroom and say, look, we've spoken with these business leaders. The professors offer insights that help you quickly get to sort of the root issues of what we're looking at, but really helps learning experience. Change organizations. Change organizations. Change organizations. Change organizations. The more you hear from different people about how they do things, what they think is important, you begin to get a sense of what is my leadership style, what are the things that, that resonate with me. We, we just see all the opportunities that are out there. Guess what? At 28, 29, you can come and be a VP, you can work for the CEO, the next level for you to, for you is to be in a senior leadership and then change organizations. What I've learned here on leadership, on change, is going to be hugely valuable to me you know, in the next three to five years of my career and obviously far beyond that too.